I did not expect to capture this. Was you not supposed to see that? Another stage for the Saturday Night Live! This is a murder house in here. Oh. Uh. So we're here today in Sturminster. We're at an ABP slaughterhouse. In this slaughterhouse behind me, they slaughter cows. If you've seen the recent investigations that Joey Carpstrong and his team have released about the RSPCA assured farms, you'll see the horror that happens in the RSPCA assured farms to these dairy cows their whole life. When they become non-profitable for that farmer, they end up here. They get taken through the gates, they get taken around the back, they get put into a knock box, they have a bolt gun put on their head, the captive bolt gun squeezed against their forehead, it incapacitates them so they can slash their throat open. All of this for cheese, for dairy, for chocolate, for milk, it was never intended for you. That milk was intended for her baby. And she ends up in here because you've bought that product off that shelf. If you're against anything that you can see on the screen right now, the number one option for you is to go vegan. The second thing you need to do is come here, be a voice for them and stand up for them. They need every single one of you fighting their corner because they can't do it themselves. Unjustifiable what you guys are doing. Unjustifiable. I don't know how you sleep at night knowing you've murdered all those innocent victims. It's sick. I'm just, this is a murder house in here. It's a murder house. They murder innocent baby animals for taste pleasure and make profit from their bodies. Unjustifiable killers in here. How does it feel to be known as a murderer? As a killer? You know, innocent babies coming in to have their heads cut off, the cheese, the milk, the chocolate. You proud, bro? Right. Mate, change your job, mate. How do you feel bringing innocent babies to death? I love a steak for the Saturday night. Yeah. Look at this, trigger, trigger these innocent babies. They're not steaks, it's their body. We're trying. It makes me feel sick that these types of people can even be around animals. Disgusting. I mean, you saw the behaviour of that worker driving the cows in. No respect, shouting I love steak out the window whilst I can see the cow's nose coming out of the little slate. Absolutely disgusting people. And they're, they're allowed to handle these animals, shout at the animals to get them off the trucks. And then they just go about talking about their day, cleaning the truck, like nothing's happened. How can you be that type of person to have no connection to another sentient being who feels and has the same emotions and feelings as we do as humans? It's absolutely sickening to see. This is how they leave. They leave in these trucks. Look at their smell. How do you guys work here with that smell of death? Don't you smell that when you go home at night? Don't you smell that as you go to bed? Disgusting. So we're here with Alex, who's the organizer of today's vigil. So Alex, uh, what is a vigil for people who don't know what a vigil is and why would an activist come and do one? Yeah, and firstly, thank you for coming today. Oh, um, right. So a vigil is basically where a group of people come to bear witness to animals going into a slaughterhouse. So here we have a slaughterhouse that takes dairy cows in. Um, so after a few years of relentless milking process, um, they get what they call spent in the industry and then yeah. they come here. So the reason we hold vigils is for, for multiple reasons. Um, we hold them firstly to say goodbye to the animals. Yeah. They have probably never had any love or compassion shown to them in their entire lives. Yeah. Um, so we are here to see them in their faces and look them in the eyes and tell them that we're sorry, we're yeah. trying. Um, and to just say goodbye to them and, and you know maybe even give them some water and you know a stroke just to try and relax them as they go into this absolute hellhole. Many vegans, non-vegans will have never seen this before. They yeah. would never have um, been this close up to an animal. They might know what happens but to actually see it in, in person what it does it, it it ignites a spark and a fire inside people to actually fight to 100%. fight and to keep fighting because it's that constant reminder of you see it in your face, you, yeah. you see as they're going in, yeah. this is why we do what we do. Oh. Yeah, good, thank you, yeah. Everything going all right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're good, yeah. Are you guys recording us? Here we are, we're just coming to touch base with you. You're, you're supposed to, to, you're supposed to say when you're recording. Right, we're recording you. 
Yeah, we just come to touch base, make sure that everyone's all right here. We're yeah, all right, but uh, behind there, the animals are being killed. Yeah, okay. they're being murdered. Obviously, when they all are coming in, been, so, just yeah. be careful, because I wouldn't want anything, anyone to get run over or anything like that. <laughs> we won't want anyone to get killed, would we? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, not yourselves. No, no but what the animals, happened? what about the animals? We, well, like we, we said, yeah. we're not here to discuss yeah. that. We're here to make sure that... Here we go. Yeah. This is exactly why we're here. Look, have you seen this before? These are dairy cows. These are dairy cows, these are dairy cows because they don't produce enough milk anymore. They come in here. Have you ever seen inside of a slaughterhouse? Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. No worries. Thanks for coming and talking to us. You see that? They go in, they have their heads bolt done, they cut their throats and yeah. hang them up. Like I said, we're just here to make sure that you guys are nice and peaceful. Yeah, don't, we're not here to cause alarm or distress, but we are here to hold everyone accountable and obviously highlight what's happening to the, the cows. Free range farm. Yeah. People think it's all humane, they still get murdered. You know what you're doing. Yeah. You, you know what you know what's so we've, we've been coming yeah. here for weeks, exactly. but we've never had any report okay. release. Yeah. No, no. Let's try, try, try and keep it that right. way because yeah. yeah. So we're not we're not shut. We're not. No. We, we come here. For, I've seen for that. Weeks, I've seen so. there's something yeah. come in, and you, as long as it stays like that, then that's that's all okay. And just keep yourself. We get like five seconds to get footage, and they go inside. Yeah, and just keep yourself safe by the road as well, because obviously people come around here. Yeah. 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 Thank you for your advice. No, yeah, thank you. For, thanks for thank by. you. Have yeah. a good day. The other benefit, I guess, of of holding vigils is we're lucky we can be here today. There's yeah. people that may. Not, are not able to come they might yeah. want to come um, so what we can do is we take social media footage yeah. and we get as much footage as possible and we post it everywhere so that yeah. those um, that can't be with there can still share it but yes. also we reach a huge number of people that maybe are thinking about going vegan or they want to know more about it that how poignant is this image factory farming and small hold farming this is exactly it factory farming and small hold exactly it Innocent babies, these poor innocent babies. We're trying, we're trying, we know, we know, we're sorry, we're trying. We're trying. These animals feel happiness, joy and pain, just like we do, and they shouldn't be going into these murder hell holes for a sandwich. You can live vegan and not pay for this monstrous industry to keep going. They're the absolute gates of hell. They were dairy cows that just gone in there. Um, I ran around the back of the slaughterhouse to try and capture the unloading because see the big gates, they don't want us to see anything. Um, and I saw the cows coming off and they just looked so defeated. I mean, these cows aren't even old, but because of the life that they have had, because they have been tortured, abused, had baby after baby taken away from them, they've been raped. They've had their bodily autonomy completely stripped from them. And you can see it, they're probably only about five years old, but they were just like, they just looked so sad. They were mucky, they were muddy, they were just, they looked, just, it was just so sad to see complete victims walking in, into their murder, being led into their murder. These are innocent animals. Cows should live about 25 years, but they end up here about five years old. They need protecting so badly. This is why we're here at slaughterhouses, exposing the reality because they'll go in there today and if we weren't here, no one would ever know what they're going through. No one would ever see what they are going through. So vigils are really important to expose this awful injustice happening en masse to these animals. And they desperately need us to fight. So please come out and also expose as well where all the animals have for freedom, so please, do what you can and come out. Why are you driving these innocent babies to their death? Why? You can change. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do it, just change jobs. They're innocent. They don't deserve to die. Why would you do it to them? You can change. We're trying, we're sorry guys. Ah. Oh.
Wow. Don't just don't just kill cows here. Why have you got sheep in that trailer? Why you got sheep here, eh? Why are you got sheep in there? Was we not supposed to see that? There's a rainbow over the slaughter truck, which seems to be messed up. All I can think is that I hope it's the bridge to heaven for the animals. I hope no one harms them in heaven. What made you think I'm going to be an organiser? Yeah, so good question. Um, so it was last year, I'd always kind of wanted to face the reality for myself. I wanted to see it with my own eyes and I tried looking for some groups around without much luck. Um, so I then got in contact with um, Animal Save and there used to be a chapter but it kind of gone quiet over the last few years. So I decided to reach out to a couple of people that were part of the, the Dorset Animal Save group before. Um, and basically from that, the Animal Save reached out to me and they said, are you looking to start a chapter? I was like, absolutely. Um, and then managed to get, you know, high vises and placards and go through all that stuff to get all of our um, awesome. stuff ready. And then just getting people more and more. We've grown so much even after the last six months, we've really expanded. Nice. I've got over 50 people active in our group now. Wow, so, that's so um, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, mate. Well done for taking that initiative because it's difficult, right? It's hard for that person to step up and say, I'm going to organise and take ownership of that. Yeah. So, like, I think it's really commendable, like, when people do that. I think it's a really brave thing to do. And as a result of it, look at what you've created now. But for them, they get to go home, empty trailer, some money in their pocket. But them innocent animals they dropped off here, have got a knife across their throat, and that's the end of their life. As I put the camera over the fence, I did not expect to capture this. Blood everywhere coming from that truck. And that truck still had sheep in. We presume that there was a down dairy cow on the truck who was too weak and unable to walk into the murder house herself. And we think that they killed her on the truck. You look at them walking around the blood as if nothing's happened. Maybe they're used to this kind of scene, but it's an absolute murder scene. So I think I just managed to capture them cleaning the trucks with blood everywhere. It's so painful being this side of the game, not being able to help them. They need more of us helping them, so please help them. Another empty truck. Come on, mate, you're better than this place, mate. You're better than this place. Don't give them your time. You can change. You can change. Do not prop up this industry. You know better. You know you shouldn't be doing this. Every time you open a door, you're complicit in this. Here goes another murderer. How could you? If people want to come to a, a vigil, how would they go about doing it? If they think, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm ready to go, what would be their first steps? So first steps is find, I mean, find a local vigil near you. So Animal Save have loads all throughout the country. You can go on their website and there's an entire map and you can just find one near you. Yeah. Um, but also there's some that are run by other groups. So reach out to your, your local vegan activist groups and you can probably find a, a chapter somewhere. Um, yeah. The yeah, Animal Save have got them all over the, all over the, all over the world. So even if wow. you're not in England, um, yeah, they do them everywhere. So awesome. reach out to your local group and you can just, you know, come along. You don't have to, you know, talk to anyone. You can just stand there in the background. You can hold a placard and you can just, you don't have to be, you can be as involved or not involved as you want. But yeah. The main thing is to just to brave it. It yep. might put you out of your comfort zone, but you'll feel much better for doing it. And you have that fight to then keep fighting for the animals afterwards. So. 100%. I remember Joey saying that if you go to a vigil, it changes you as an activist. And Absolutely. it 100% does. And for anyone who is a bit nervous, like the rest of the people at the vigil, we're all in it together. You find you make some real good friendships and real good support networks being here. So, uh, yeah, it's really important for the animals that we do it. And you're not alone when you're here. Yeah, we're a friendly bunch. We're, we're all there, bunch. you know, for, yeah. for hugs and for tears. We're, we're all <laughs> yeah. there for each other. So, Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you so much, mate, for today and, and talking to us. Yeah, thank you all for coming. Nice one. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs>